In this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire setup of this AI dental receptionist that adds $306,000 of revenue per dental clinic by accepting all calls all the time. The lifetime value of a single dental patient is between seven and $10,000. So if we take the average of those two numbers and say that a dental clinic gets even just three more new patients per month, that means they're adding an extra $306,000 in lifetime value that they otherwise would have lost to missed calls. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Azim, the founder of Inspira AI, an agency that has built voice agents for over 20 real world use cases and developed an entire mental health web app in less than two weeks, which you can check out in this video. And if your business is also thinking about voice agents, you can book a free intro chat with my team to actually discuss this. The first three business owners to sign up are the only ones that will receive a custom roadmap of their voice AI journey, as well as a free voice agent blueprint to get started at completely no charge. With that said, let's just get right into the full setup. The first step for you will be obviously to go ahead to NAN. You can sign up the link I dropped in the description to get two weeks of NAN for completely free. And once you've signed in or signed up, go ahead and create a new blank workflow. And the way you're going to get access to this full blueprint is by joining my free school community. There's really nothing else you have to do. By joining the school community, you can also get easy access to all 20 plus other voice agent blueprints that I've personally developed myself. So once you've downloaded the file that I've provided in the resources hub of my school community, you're going to go ahead and upload it into NAN by hitting these three dots and clicking on import from file. After that, you should see this exact workflow pop up. What we can first do is just quickly set up our Google calendars. If you're new to this, what Google Calendar requires is simply for you to sign in with your Google account and that's how you're going to connect it to NAN. Once you have your account selected, you're just going to go ahead down here and select the correct calendar. You don't really have to touch anything else unless you want to customize it. So after you've set up one of the Google Calendar nodes, you can just go ahead and do that for all other five nodes. For the chat model setup, for this use case, I'm just going to use Azure OpenAI as I usually do. Microsoft actually has a crazy offer where you can get $1,000 or more in free credits by just signing up with a Microsoft account. That way, you don't even have to pay for OpenAI or Open Router. The link for that will be in the resources sub in my school community, so definitely check that out. So once we have a chat model set up and Azure is just my recommendation, but you can really use anything you would like to, you can go ahead to vapi.ai, which is the voice agent platform we're going to be using, and you can actually use the link I dropped in the description to get 10 free credits upon signing up. So once you're inside of Appy, you're just going to go over to this assistant section over here and you're going to click on create assistant. This is going to give you a blank slate or some template for now, but in my resource hub, you'll have access to this exact prompt I made for you over here. So you can just paste it inside for yourself. Over here inside of the voice section, feel free to customize it to choose 11 labs or something else. But at the moment, I think Vapi's voices are actually the best ones that you can use. For the transcriber, which on default is going to be set to Nova 2, you're going to go ahead and change this to either Nova 3, Nova 3 General, or Nova 3 Medical. Next up, what we're going to have to do is set up something called Tools inside of Vapi. Tools inside of Vapi work just like NAN agent tools, and they might be even more simple to set up. So under the Assistant section, you'll notice that there's a Tools section. For you, this is probably going to be blank, but what we will need for the setup are two tools. We will need one custom tool and one query tool. So our first and only custom tool for the setup is going to be called record action. And what this will do is just record the appointment booking action, as well as the details that are required for us to handle it properly. So instead of having four different tools for checking the calendar, booking the calendar, rescheduling appointments and canceling appointments, we're just going to have one tool rescheduling appointments and canceling appointments that is flexible enough to handle all four. After you scroll down, you're going to see this parameter section and parameters are just information that the voice agent collects. So in this case, we will have a parameter named action. So this is either checking availability, booking, canceling, or rescheduling. You're gonna mark this as required, and then you're gonna click apply. For the details, this is pretty straightforward as well. These are just the details that are needed to accomplish the task. So for example, for booking, we would need to request a time, and then some more details. And for the server settings, what you can do is go ahead back inside of your NAN workflow, click inside of this webhook, and copy this webhook link. After you've copied that, you can paste it inside of here and then just make sure to click save. After that, the second tool we're going to have is the answer FAQ tool. This answer FAQ tool is just going to answer FAQs. Shocking, I know. But what it will do is just use our knowledge base, which I have filled in with all of the general details of an example clinic. And it's going to use a separate AI model to actually search for answers within the information. 
So you can name this something like knowledge base 1. And for the description, you can just add something like this. For the model, I will prefer to use Gemini 2.0 Flash. And over here is just the sample file that I filled in with some information, which I'll also attach inside of the resource hub if you're interested. And also for both tools, inside of this messages section, you can set this to none. This is because when the VAPI agent calls a tool, on default, it will just speak a server message, something like give me a sec, or fetching your information, or something like that. But if you prefer to have it, you can leave it on, or create your own custom message. So now back inside of the assistant section and your dental clinic assistant, you can go ahead to the tools section, click inside of the space, and then you can add two of these tools, record action and answer FAQ. From here, we're on to our last step. It's just a very simple thing to do. You're gonna go back inside of your webhook, once again, copy that same URL. So over here, you're just gonna click into the advanced section. You're gonna scroll down a bit and you're gonna see this messaging part. So the server settings, in this case, our server is NAN which is gonna be receiving the information and then taking certain actions, and then doing things like booking the calendar. Here, you're just gonna paste in the exact same URL and then click on publish. While you're at it, you can go ahead to these client messages and server messages sections. Inside of the client messages, you're gonna uncheck everything except transcript, tool calls, and tool calls result. And for the server messages, you can just uncheck everything except tool calls and transcript. And while you're here, you can just set up the end of call message, which can be something like, thank you for reaching out and goodbye. And after this, you're pretty much set up and you can select publish. After you have done that, you have actually fully set up a dental receptionist. But there is one thing to note, and that is HIPAA compliance. HIPAA compliance is something that protects the health information of people, which means that you have to be extremely secure with information or not collect some of it at all. And even though in this case, we have the agent set up to not collect insurance, ask or give medical advice and collect other information, you would still need some security to actually use this solution in the real world. And so instead of Google Calendar, you would have to use some more HIPAA compliant and secure scheduling software that dental clinics normally use. And then you would have to be really careful with storing patient details because oftentimes if AI agents aren't told that this is sensitive data, they're just going to go ahead and use it, which can lead to some problems down the road. Of course, in VAPI itself, there is a setting called HIPAA compliance, but since this agent actually doesn't require HIPAA compliance, since it's not storing or transferring a bunch of medical information, this could be overkill, especially considering that it costs $1,000 a month. But if you're looking to create a more advanced voice agent, then this might be a good fit. So of course, a blueprint like this may not be completely production ready, simply because of those difficulties, but with some good changes to the scheduling software you're using and prompts for the NAN agents and VAPI voice agent, you would be ready to use this in the real world. Of course, don't quote me on this because I'm not a lawyer and this is not legal advice, but I'm just trying to tell you how to best manage this. So now that we have that cleared out of the way, let's go ahead and give this a full test call. Hello, this is Amy from Smart Dental. Who am I speaking with? Uh, hi there, my name is Azim. Hi Azim, thanks for calling. How can I help you today? Yeah, so I was looking to book a consultation. I was recently suggested that. Got it. You'd like to book a consultation. What date and time work best for you? I was thinking maybe August 28th. So that's in like two days, I believe. And that might be a Thursday, maybe a Friday. Thanks Azim, you'd like a consultation on August 28th. Is there a particular time of day you'd prefer? Morning, afternoon, or evening? I think sometime around noon, so 12 p.m. on the dot, uh, would go well. Perfect, Azim. I'll book your consultation for August 28th at 12 p.m. May I have your phone number, please? Yeah, my phone number is 555-0100. Thank you. And could you please provide your email address? Yeah, my email address is aakodir833 at gmail.com. Great, thank you. Just to review... Um, you're booking a consultation for August 28th at 12 p.m. Your name, Azim. Phone, 555-0100. Email, A-A-K-O-D-I-R-833 at gmail.com. I'll confirm your consultation now. Your consultation is all set for August 28th at 12 p.m. at Smart Dental Clinic. Why have you? Would you like to hear about our whitening treatments or schedule a whitening consultation? It's a great way to boost your smile and only takes about an hour and a half. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? With the whitening, yeah, so we can do like a consultation and then the whitening right after. Is that correct? Great question. Usually we first complete your consultation before scheduling the whitening. 
This way, the doctor can make sure whitening is the perfect fit for your smile and answer any questions. If all looks good, we can schedule the whitening right after your consultation, sometimes even on the same day if you'd like. Would you like me to tentatively hold a whitening spot after your consultation just in case you'd like to proceed? Um, I don't think just yet. I might, I might not have the time to do that on the same day, but I appreciate you for asking. No problem at all, Azim. Your consultation is confirmed for August 20th, 8th at 12 p.m. If you decide on whitening later, just let us know. No rush at all. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Yeah, so I just wanted to ask if uh, parking is free. Because I know I've just booked an appointment, but I really don't want to pay for the parking. Like, I genuinely hate paying for parking. Thanks for asking, Azim. There's metered street parking available near Smart Dental Clinic. And there's also a private garage one block north. At this time, free parking is not available at the clinic itself. Is there anything else I can help with regarding your appointment or any other questions? Uh, no, thank you. I'm good. All right, Azim. Take care and have a great day. Thank you. You too. Goodbye. Awesome. So as you heard, over there was the call. Uh, it speaks in a pretty human-like voice. That's why I prefer Vapi voices over the 11 Labs voices that it offers. So from here, let's just go ahead to the calendar and see if I have been booked for 12 p.m. So over here, I can see that I've been booked at 12 p.m. We have my general consultation scheduled over here. The address is here, and this is perfect. That lasts 45 minutes. And if we go back inside of the prompt of the master AI agent inside of NAN, it does say that the general consultation uh, lasts around 45 minutes. Besides that, it captured all of my details correctly, except for the full name. I don't know why my full name is just my first name, but those are just little tweaks that you have to add to prompts just so they can get you all of the correct information. But besides that, it actually got my email correct and it filled in some notes mentioning that I can maybe get whitening after uh, depending on if I have time and what the consultation says. So that's pretty awesome. And it also answered my question about the parking. So overall, it was pretty effective. And with that, you have everything you need to get a fully functioning version of a dental AI receptionist, which with just a few tweaks, you can get set up to start converting missed calls into booked appointments and adding more and more revenue to dental clinics. As always, you can get complete free access to my resources, but now you can do that inside of my school community by joining it through the link in the description. And if you're a business that's looking to use voice agents, whether it be for appointment booking, outbound calls, or something else, feel free to once again book that intro chat I mentioned earlier in the video with my team so we can understand your situation a bit better, create you a custom roadmap, and also deliver you your first agent for completely free so that you can start using it the moment you get it set up. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.